All right, we are set. Actually, you know what? We're both green decks. Let's be green. We can do that. Roll you back down. This is Atraxa versus Omnith Locus of Mana. Who gets to go first, it seems? <laughs> boink, 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 boink. There we go. All right, man. Now, I what mulligan rule do you want to use? Do you want to use the official one, or do you have a preference? I don't even remember what they used to do back at our old LTS. I know Tapstart doesn't have a store rule. It's just whatever people want to do. And I think the official rule now is just the same as regular magic, you know. But I, I don't. Uh, no, I always did partials. We can do partials. That's that's fine. Um. Okay. So if that's the case, and first one free, or yeah. Okay, if it's first one free. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna. Put you here, and then shuffle you back, and then I'm set. All right, <laughs> that'll do. Since this is one-on-one -on -one EDH, going first doesn't let us draw a card on our first turn. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's it's a thing. Oh, you already drew your extras Ooh. to make up for it. No. Oh, not yet. Oh, I thought you shuffled. I thought you shuffled before you drew. Oh, oh no, I've drawn. I drew si uh, seven. Put one back. Or put one on the bottom, then drew, oh, okay. and then shuffled. It, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little crazy. All right. So in the meantime, while he's working on that, let me show off what I have going on over here. Ooh. Hey, there we go. So I like this this start. This is pretty silly, pretty nice. Not silly, just nice. Okay. Actually, probably going to start off with you. Uh, depends on what's coming off the top, but probably want to get. Um, another deeper because I'm playing against Omnith and Omnith is good at a lot of things and getting out of hand quickly is one of them. So I'm just expecting turn one some ramped card, uh, you know, a Utopia Sprawl or Wild Growth or a Lanawar or a Finhorn or an Elvish Mystic or the one that untaps for uh, Arbor Elf, something, some turn one ramp spell. Uh, Sorry, I did see a forest. Gee, I wonder if there are forests in here. Um, yeah, I'm expecting something like that into turn two Omnith, into turn three shenanigans. <laughs> Make all the mana. Into turn four Primordial Hydra, into turn five or six kill. <laughs> Who even knows? All right. I'm ready. Yes, all right, you're up. There's... Okay, Soul Ring. Oh, is this the one that gets you basic lands? Yep. Okay, put it in your hand. Very good. Okay, that's a... That seems alright. And go ahead. Fair enough. We are going to start off with a Seaside Citadel pass turn. This is the one that makes Bant. Yeah. Makes Bant. T1 Glistener Elf. Coppice. Yep. Overturn. Not the early Omnith. Okay. Uh, show me another one drop play, I guess? Or we'll see. Alright. Too many cards. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know what's in your hand after all. Ooh. Alright. Now, to make sure, the transform bit. Happens on if you control seven or more lands. Okay, cool. At the beginning of your end step, may I see what it? Uh, this is the not the guy's cradle one. It's the maze of Ith one. It's the maze of Ith one. Okay, that also makes one mana. Yeah. Otherwise, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if maze of Ith gets played in all these EDH decks, maze of Ith number two also seems pretty all right. Pretty good. Boink. Shaper sanctuary. There we go. Go ahead. Creature you control becomes the target of a spell or ability. Yikes. But it's just creatures. Yeah, okay. Good. I think I can live with that. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh! Oh, so many things I want to do here! <laughs> oh my goodness. The plays. The plays. I think I know what he's going to do next turn. And that makes this a little awkward. 
Oh, it's one. It's one. Uh, long story short, there's a short-term play and a long-term play. And because I think I know what you're going to do next, I think I know what the right answer is, actually. Um. Yeah, we're going to play a shambling vent tapped, of course, and pass the turn. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, where did you get those sleeves, by chance? At my local LGS when I started playing. Mm-hmm. The one that was here in Clarksville? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit reluctant to say its name on the channel, especially given what's happened lately, but, you know, that's neither here nor there now, I guess. I never had a problem with it. I was there constantly. I, I don't think you and I were the ones that would have had a problem with it. Um, you know. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Alright, top decks of glory. Let's see what's coming up. Coming up next. That's about as quickly as I can go. We'll tap you there. <laughs> Priest. Okay, for each elf. Omnith elves? Go ahead. No, that'd be Azuri. Okay, top decks of glory. What's it gonna be? Um, it's interesting. It's not what I was hoping for. Okay. Um, you are you are doing a good job, my friend, of throwing me off because I thought that I knew what you were doing, and you have gone through a whole different line. <laughs> I, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried, man. All right. Okay. How about? I start off with a no, no, bad idea, Jay. All right, we'll do an opal palace. It's just gonna make colorless here. We're going to pay three for an astral cornucopia with one charge counter on it. Okay. Um, I'm getting one out of my oh, thank you. It's faster than me getting it from a box. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just going to make one man of any color I choose. So think of it as ever flowing chalice, but you know, three instead of two for an extra mana, and this makes any color instead of colorless. Um, and then we're going to pass the turn. Oh wow, okay. Another turn. Yep. I'm wondering if we're just not drawing lands. Or what might be. Alright. It feels like we're both just letting the other players set up. Well, in the meantime, as a quick little update for everybody, this is what it looks like right now. This is what we're working with. And, uh, this is, this is okay. But I don't know that we get there. I do not know. Poke. Three. Mm-hmm. Correct sage. Blow up the cornucopia. Uh, float blue. Oh. oh. <laughs> Nope, nothing else. That's uh, all. Oh, we go ahead. Okay. Okay. We might change things just a teeny tiny bit. Hmm. I 
I would like to tap the Opal Palace and a Seaside Citadel. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to cast a Wall of Blossoms. Draw sure. a card. Well, that's a thing. Um, I would like to play a Command Tower, mm -hmm. and I would like to tap these two for sort the <laughs> five color, three color, two color. Uh, for an Oath of a Johnny, enters, puts a plus one, plus one counter on all one creatures I own, yep. and it makes my Planeswalkers cost one less to cast. And then I'll pass the turn. <sighs> Graveyard gets to go way over here. And deck gets to go way over here. Oh, Dryad Arbor. Okay. Growing Rights. Growing Rights resolves. Alright. Oh. Um, um. Uh, when it enters the battlefield. So we, we do this oh, yeah, first. That's right. I was wondering, okay, yeah, let's do this before the Omnith, but, you know, we're, we're getting there. So top four, yeah. Top four, one, two, three. Yeah, he's four. while he's resolving it, he gets to look at the top four of his library, reveal a creature from among them, put it in his hand. The rest go on the bottom in any order. And then at the end step, if he can, controls four more creatures, which spoiler alert, in all likelihood he will, um, then it'll transform into Guy's Cradle, that also makes green even if he gets wrath or whatever. Okay, so there's Omnon. Bring me your All right. You have two extra mana to work with from the uh, priest. Flip two. Okay. Oh, we're not spending it right now? Nope. Oh no, that means it doesn't transform yet. Only three creatures. Only three. Fast turn. Oh, Dryad Arbor's a creature! Oh, yes! All right, good good catch. The Elves player, the Legacy Elves player would note that. <laughs> you know what? What's the uh, the triggering incident? This is at the beginning of the end step? Yeah. Okay, so this is also at the beginning. So it's a little too late to trigger the compass yeah. here. Uh, but you do have seven lands, don't you? One, two, three, f Oh, I thought there was a fifth one Number underneath four, there. Five, six. Okay. My bad. Yep. All right. Now he's he has, he's revealing all his basic forest. All right. So there we go. That's a little uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Rubble. Little bit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> little bit. White. White. Mm -hmm. Blue. One. Supreme verdict. Mm -hmm. Blow up all of the creatures. Sure. Okay. So wall is dead. Um, Omnith gets one oh. command. In response, float compass. Okay, that, that's fair. Uh, Alright. Cool. Uh, after that, I would like to play a creeping tar pit tapped, and then I'll pass the turn back to you, man. Um, you just. Yeah. Uh, where do you want to set your grave since Shaper Sanctuary is on the field? However you want to do it. Oh, you set yours over there. Okay. And then... There we go. Uh, I guess. <laughs> or, no, you're right. Oh, however we want to do it. I don't care. I'm good with whatever you're good with. Uh, I haven't missed anything. N neither of us have taken any damage, I guess. Mm -mm. All right. No fetches, no combat. Are you done after that? Uh, yes. Before I've... I just start untapping. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Need seven lands. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> yeah, sadly Dryad Arbor went down, so... That'll do it.
Okay. Put Dark in order. Oh, that's the gives flash to all your non lands? Fair yes. enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> problem? Much problem? <laughs> And that is how you play around future Wraths, I guess. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'll cast a doubling season and pass the turn. At the end of your turn... One, two... Three. Right's flourishing. Uh, we each draw an extra card and we get to play an additional, additional land. land. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I know that because it's in Chinese. <laughs> It's in... Uh, I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I, I hate to say... I want to say Japanese. Uh, to be honest, usually I can tell it's Japanese if it has the kanji characters above it. Mm. This one does not. Right. So my right. inclination is to say it's not. But I am, uh, <laughs> yes, I am not well-versed, obviously. Right. Uh, land. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. Two. All right. Now, we've already played a land, but we're doing the search from compass now? Yeah. Second land for turn. Okay. Oh, okay. That's true. We do have rights of flourishing. In... Indeed. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. So, while he's... Well, actually, we're done shuffling. So, yeah, whatever. You get the one hamburger cut. I'm trying to get into the habit of not doing a serious shuffle in friendlies like this. <laughs> But honestly, I do like to do silly shuffles every now and then. Good. Okay. Oh, and it turn. Yeah, one, two, it transforms. Four, five, six, oh, it definitely eight. transforms. <laughs> Maze of Ith is online. It is indeed. All right, man. Uh, I would like to. Uh, blue. Mm -hmm. Blue. One. And two. I will play land first, just in case something happens. I would like to cast Jace, Unraveler of Secrets. This is a uh, scry Jace that has unsummon. <laughs> it, it looks like a much worse Jace the Mind Sculptor. Here's uh, ult. I would like to pop Jace for his ult, uh, because doubling season is out, so it came in 5 is double to 10, okay. and 10 is greater than 8, so uh, Jace will still be at 2. Uh, and you, you, of course, you can respond to that. Yeah, response to that. Good old Vidalkin. Or Roar 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 Can't be countered. Spells you control can't be countered. Or creature spells, excuse me, that's important. Not spells, creature spells. Okay, uh, I will get out. I'm gonna hope that this one is big enough that somebody can see it. Not like Jace is gonna last for too long. <laughs> Jace is probably going down pretty soon, but... Uh, there is a Jace emblem out. And counters first spell? Yes, the first spell, and obviously not that one because already cast. So, uh, if you were to cast anything else on this turn, because you already cast a spell this turn, you'd be safe from Jace. Um, do we have anything we can use as a, like a blue, can we use your blue mana emblem? It's in one of the things right Okay, there. well, I'll, I'll get something sorted out. <laughs> I'll find like a Jace the meme sculptor or something. I'll find, I got it, I got it. This is totally a Jace emblem. You're, you're going to absolutely know that this is a Jace emblem. Um, but yeah, a, a new rule has been imposed on the game, and um, I will pass the turn. Also, before the end of your turn, some of the drives. You don't want to just kill it with combat? Okay, fair enough. Um, it turn still it has forest. two loyalty counters. <laughs> it's a forest with two loyalty that it can't use. Uh, yeah, so that resolves. Uh, get on my turn. Alright. So, Prowling Serpapard. <laughs> Serpapard is actually uh, really good against the Jace emblem here. Because as long as you cast a creature as your first spell each turn, mm -hmm. you'll be fine. Draw one. 
Yeah, it'll dodge okay. Jace here. Round return. Yes. Green Linger Druid. Okay. Mm. And can't be countered, so the Jace emblem fizzles on it, basically. Yeah. So we're just going to remember what it is. <laughs> All right. Oh! And it doesn't matter. Hmm? I, I neglected to draw my second card off of Rites of Flourishing. Oh. Oops. It is a trigger. I can miss it. Even in a friendly, that's a good way to make sure you remember it going forward. You know what also is a good way to make sure you remember? This. Two. <laughs> two. Or three, two. Um, no, no. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, he has a lot of mana to work with. That's a little unfortunate here. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, we are not going to fetch, but we are going to draw two this time. Why are you in a different sleeve? I'm, that's not just back. me. That's, yeah, that's not just me. You. Okay, um, that's a problem. <gasps> Oh no! Okay, okay. The last video that was on the channel featured me playing against a guy. We ended up with some red enchantment that caused us to switch permanents with players. He has my Darksteel ingot, and I have his Rakdos signet, and ho One second, this is supposed to be a Darksteel ingot. We're, we're gonna pause here. I swear, this is the dumbest thing. <laughs> okay, uh... You know, I actually think I have another sleeve. Like, I'm gonna set this in my EDH box so that I remember to bring it to him next time. But he's gonna cut. I don't know when his next game of EDH is. Jump. But oh, that's our fire alarm. Um. But oh, oh, sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my B. But uh, he's gonna realize it too. Practice <laughs> sickness. Okay, so. With that out of the way, <sighs> we're going to play another land. Uh, we're going to start doing some shenanigans here. I would like to uh, start off with black, black, colorless, colorless, because it is a force now. Um, <laughs> I would like to cast Obnixilis, Ob... Nixilis, reignited, uh, comes in, has 10 counters on him. Um, here we go. Not going to be 10 for long. You know what? The, there are still actually two counters on you, but no one cares. So I'm going to take the one that's harder to see and move it over here. Um, not ulting it right off. <laughs> there we go. We're actually going to use the mana to destroy Omnith Locus of Mana. Uh, using destroy target creature. Response. Okay, definitely respond. Three, four, five, six, seven. Elder Scale Worm. Okay, that's fair. Interesting. Okay, so now it's on seven. Uh, made one cheaper from the oath, of course. Uh, and then... Let's see... May I see your graveyard? Uh, priest, Reclamation Sage, Dryad Arbor. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. We're gonna fetch twice. Finally! Damage! Damage! It happened! Uh, we're going to go and get... Uh, we're gonna say, looking at my hand one more time, 
how about uh, Scrubland? All my lands are scrubs, haha. -ha. And let's see, actually, maybe not Scrubland. We'll get Bayou. Uh, so it's a Flooded Strand and an Arid Mesa. I can't get a Bayou. Yeah, I guess I am going to get a, a Scrubland and probably a. Hmm. Hmm. Could be an Underground. Okay, okay. Let's see. I'll move my choices to the front, and that'll help me make this a little bit easier. And in the meantime, I'll do a quick little deck tech for everyone while I'm looking. Killed two birds with one stone. Okay. Let's see. I cannot get a bayou. Uh, I actually can't get both of these. I have to pick one or the other. Could get you. And I think that that's what we're going to do. Aired Mesa Flooded Strand, in all likelihood. I'm looking, and yeah. That's pretty, or, yeah, okay. So we, we've gotten it. We've gotten them. They are uh, Underground Sea Tundra. I'm going to move them here because they're two colors. So keeping the color thing together. Um, and then, once this finishes, I'm going to tap the four lands that I have left in a moment. In a moment. Uh, Liliana Vess doubles. I'm going to alt Lily here and get all uh, creatures back from the graveyards and put them on my side of the field. That's a Dryad Arbor, Priest of Titania, Rex Sage, trigger, Wall of Blossoms, trigger. Uh, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> Let me see if I can move my lands back a little further somehow. You're, you're a land buddy. Jace. No, Jace the Forest. Well. What's up? When you blew up Omnom with the ability, I missed the shape for Sanctuary. Sure. I think that's when it's targeted, right? Spell that's correct. Ability. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Uh, we can go back to it. It's the same turn. Yeah, yeah just might as well. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's about as much room as I'm going to get. So, here are our creatures. Whoa. Oh, you're at, uh, you're at seven, buddy. Uh, Dryad Arbor, I'm going to pretend it's a creature, not a land. Priest, Rex Age, Wall of Blossoms. Uh, Rex Age, why don't you take it down, say... Um, actually, we're going to use Wall of Blossoms. We're going to let that resolve first. Well, I still have to declare a target here before it resolves. So it's either going to be the Soul Ring or the... Or uh, We're going to say, how about... Hmm... Uh, I'm going to say, how many cards do you have left in hand? Two. Soul Ring. Uh -huh. uh, and then I'll draw a card. Cool. I have played one land this turn, but because of Rites of Flourishing, I get another. Uh, and I'm definitely taking it now. So, Wooded Foothills, here somewhere. It's effectively a five color land for now. And, um, Summoning Sick, Summoning Sick. Not much else I can do on that, so. I guess I will pass the turn End into turn, turn. Vidalkin Orrery Summoner's pa Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Well, it, it, you don't have it just yet, but when you set your deck back down, I'm gonna put the Reminder die on. Terastodon. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say Terastodon. This is me not blaming you at all. Ractos Sigurd, you, you get in here. You get in his deck box. Come on, buddy. Alright. What on earth? Well, that made my day. Night. Evening. Also, these are tapped. Okay. Okay. Let's 
stretch, stretch day. Okay. Um, I'm seeing Avenger of Zendikar. I'm sorry, may I take a look at this please? Mm -hmm. I know I've seen you a bunch, and you're pretty much an EDH staple at this point. Uh, for each land you control, gets a 0-1 green plant when it enters the battlefield. Landfall, plus one, plus one counter on all your plant creatures. It's, it's an elemental, but yeah, plant creatures. Okay, that's a thing. That is indeed a thing. Oh yeah, it's in your hand. Yeah, that's, that's silly, Jay. <laughs> Wake up. I'm so glad you don't get a zero mana put that on the battlefield. <laughs> Untap. Upkeep. Yeah, just... Boris time. Double draw. Alright. Now, remind me, this does have tramp. Oh, no, it has re uh, trample or reach. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, we have a computer over here. Sure. Elder Scale Worm. Trample, I, think. I think you're right. Just making sure. It, it, it looks like it would have trample. Why would it have reach? But you never know. It is trample. Okay, cool. Makes, I'm seeing eight, <laughs> eight just ten, on the forest. Just on the forest. Ten. So ten of ones. One, two, three, four, four. Fourteen. Okay. I'm just gonna do this just to be safe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have our uh, handy dandy mana over here. Um. So three of it. Yeah, guys, cradle, Avenger of Zendikar. This is pilgrimage. Goes and gets three forests since you have spell mastery. I'm pretty sure. No, Summoner's packed. You don't. Okay. Could have sworn there was something forests. else. Guess not. They're both gonna go to the field. Yep. Double triggers on the plants. Wait a minute. Reveal this cards. Put one onto the battlefield. Tap because and the rest of, of your hand. rise of floors. Okay. 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 We're, we're, we're skipping a step, but yeah, yeah. You're yeah. right. You're right. All right. So bunch of plus one plus one counters. Everywhere. They're all two threes now. Yep. They are indeed. <laughs> all right. If you don't mind, I'm just going to fetch to save a little bit of time. Okay. That's, that's cool. All right, we're just gonna get a Bayou. I would do this at end of turn, but whatever. <laughs> I think we're okay. Oh. All right, here we go. Move it over here. You said his ability was trampled? Uh, yes, Elder Scale Worm does indeed have trample. Go for it. Da derp. Da derp. Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um. Rights of Flourish encounter. Go to 10 mil. Okay. And 7 mil. 
Okay, cool. Oh, it's not a spin down. The numbers are everywhere. No. I, I like to just spin it until eventually we get there. Uh, Somber Wild Sage. No. Um, uh, you, you do have enough with seven left to cast Omnith again. Yeah, but he'd be one one. I'd have nothing floating. That's in. true. That's fair. Um, so on my turn, untap all of these, all this crap, uh, including my Song of the Forest. Uh, draw two. No, no. We had Houston. We have a problem. One of the, he didn't. What was it? If he didn't take a dark steel Inga, what did he take? <laughs> I honestly, without looking back at the tape, I have no idea what on earth. <laughs> just, just what even? What even? Oh God! I hope he didn't take my top. No. Okay. Ha ha. You. I see you over there. <laughs> No, I was laughing because um, that'd be a bad card. That, that'd be that a good card to, card to take, but it'd be bad yeah. to not be bad. Trade your Rectus Signet for a Sensei's Dividing Top. Pretty much. I, I call that trading up. Uh, I'm just going to take this one out of commission and draw another, if that's okay, because I have no idea what on earth is going on. Um, so that happened. In that case, this is in my hand, um, this, this whole game is so dumb now. This, this, this is... This is dumb. Uh, we're gonna kill Lily to uh, search my library for a card, shuffle it, put it on top. Mm -hmm. So, shuffle for something. Um, whale. Let me see how much mana I have. Uh, enough. I have enough. Um, this is funny how this works, but I guess that's a that's a thing. Um, Let's see, what else do I have in my hand? And you're all tapped out? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna go with... Uh, we're, we're gonna get Damnation. I, I tell you, I don't have to tell you because of Liliana, but I'm about to cast it in just a second anyway. It does go to the top of the deck, but I'm about to draw it, so... Um, Damnation, and then Obnixilis, use its ability, his ability, lose a life, draw a card, so now I'm going to cast it, let me figure out how I'm going to tap my everything. Um, yeah, go for it. Uh, so we're going to, I have two elves, counting, priest counts herself, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, I was hoping so. So then, one, two, three, I'm going to spend two of it, so green will be floating in just a moment here. And I'll need to tap black, black, so Bayou, um, say, Underground Sea, and Damnation, Rar. Um, yeah, so you get your creatures back. Yay! I thought about attacking just for the lulls, but no, that, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, after that... We're going to Song of the Dryads. Um, how much mana do I have to work with here? I still have one floating. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's fine, I guess. Haven't played a land yet, but spoiler alert, it's coming in tapped. So, big deal. Uh, big deal. Huge deal. Huge. Mass time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the one that was floating. I haven't spent you yet, so we'll keep you untapped for a second. Uh, seven, four, five, and I just get you. And I guess that's okay. Not what I want to do, though. Not what I want to do. Yeah, I think it's finally time for Atraxa to show. So, we're going to do that. Um, yeah, so we're going to cast Atraxa. This is actually hiding my transform. This ship is not in the deck. Um, and just so that people know I'm not lying, that's my transform. Uh, but there we go. Cool. So Atraxa is coming down off of um, blue, white, 
black, green, green, the floating green. There we go. Do this correctly. Um, and then we're going to one, two, I guess I can't use you for this. That's a little awkward. In that case, I might as well do this and keep up green. Three for an Ashiok Nightmare Weaver. And it's going to go to six because, you know, doubling season. Who on earth can, can see this one? I'm going to switch back to this. I think it works a little bit better. Uh, put my enchantments that are already doing their job over here. Planeswalkers over here. You know. Ugh. Party in the back. And then Ashiok would like to plus, exile the top three, um, do get to reveal them. Oh, Crater Hoof. Okay, so really the only one that matters here is Crater Hoof. These can just stay exiled, but I can get a creature back with CMC X uh, using the middle ability. It's a nightmare in addition to its other types. So um, you're at eight. Now I'll put two on here. And then I will... Uh, pass turn and at the end of turn proliferate off of Atraxa. So Ob goes to 9, Ashiok goes to 9, and Herman Kane goes to 9. Political references. Woo! Alright. And yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, you know, if I'm gonna stack them by number of colors they make, Five, three, two, one. There we go. Good. Um, just to make sure, how much mana do you have going on? Potentially. I mean, assuming one, that the guy's cradle is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Okay, so we can flash in Omnith and protect it with a whole lot of power and toughness. Um, yeah, I, I would like to go to my turn. You did draw two, by the way, for yeah. rights, right? Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, it's my job to miss those. Okay, um, I would like to pop Obnixilis Reignited for its emblem, and now there are two emblems on the field. Um, we're gonna say... There's a blue one to represent Jace, and there's a black one I don't have. Okay, this this is this is Ob, this is Jace. Lizard guy is gone. I I have no idea. I'm just having fun. Um, so Obnixilis' emblem is you get an emblem with whenever a player draws a card, you or me, you lose two life. Um, so that being the case. I would like to, um, exile all cards from our target opponent's hand and graveyard. From all opponent's hands and graveyards. Um, I guess that's a little cute. I don't know that I need to do that. Um, why don't we... One, Opal Palace. He's not actually defenseless. He has Flash on all his shenanigans, so I do have to watch that. Um, we're actually going to play a Swamp first and tap the Swamp for a Darksteel Ingot. I'm going to put it over here. It might as well be a land for this purpose. Uh, and then we are going to one, two, three, four... No, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, I would like to cast Magus of the Tabernacle. So it's Tabernacle at Pendle Vale on a creature. What does that do? It, it's going to, at the beginning of our upkeeps, uh, each creature has an upkeep cost of one. So on my upkeep, I'll have to pay one for each creature. On yours, I'll have to pay one for all of your zero creatures. Um, and so that's a thing. Uh, next, I will uh, put down a Vivid Meadow, comes in with uh, two charge counters. Uh, not like these will ever actually matter because it tracks us out, but 
just in case. And since it makes five colors, I'll put it over here too. Then we will one, two, three, tap them differently. Keep the command tower up. One, two, three, uh, activate creeping tar pit. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, he, he looked at his hand. I'm worried, I'm worried. Uh, I would like to use Ashiok's middle ability, minus X, put Ashiok to one, and it'll get out uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth, Rar. Uh, crater, we're all good still, right? Mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me when I need to get, uh, tell me when you're about to spore frog me. Um, <laughs> so, Crater Hoof trigger, plus four, plus four to all my creatures. You don't get to attack, buddy. Uh, but you all do. So, Atrax is an 8-8, eight, eight. Creeping Tar Pit is a 7-6, uh, and Crater of Behemoth's a 9-9. Nine, nine. So, 17, uh, 24 power. Uh, I would like to now go to combat. Okay. Alright. Uh, swing out. Atrax has Vigilance. I'm going to tap off, remove it from combat. Indeed. Okay. Uh oh. Five. Uh oh. Uh oh. Trax is flying, isn't it? Yeah, Trax has flying, vigilance, uh, death touch, lifelink. Creeping tar pits unblockable. So there's nothing I can do about that anyway. If you want to retap the maze of it on a different creature, that's fine. We can do that. Um, we can take. We can go back to that. And I don't want to be a jerk, I do want to remind you the first spell you cast will be countered from the Jace Emblem. So everything has trample too, doesn't it? Uh, yes, everything has trample. No, I already did it. So, how much damage is it? Uh, so we're talking uh, 8 plus 7, so 15 damage. Okay. And I'll gain uh, 8 life. And then um, move to main phase 2. Uh, no cards in hand. Pass turn. Um, on your upkeep, you'll lose 4 from drawing 2 cards from the Alb Emblem. And then your turn. Oh, okay. And you're back for 5. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, hang her back for five. Oh, are we gonna not pay its upkeep? No, no, that, that'd be silly. That would be silly. Um, now remember, it does get countered. Hmm? It does get countered. Oh, uh, the, the Jace Emblem. Yeah. If you want to redo that where you cast it for zero, so you can cast something else this turn, that's fine. We can, that would be kind of cute. No, 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 no. You put that back in your hand. You put that back in your hand. We are not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not about that life. But yeah, first spell. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, still end of turn. Anything you want to do? Yeah, I mean, that's okay. what I was going to do. And, uh, okay, cool. Leave. So yeah. pass turn, um, roll you down to 36. Should be lower than that because you, you just hit Oh, the yeah, end. yeah. We, we, how did we not account for that? Put you down to 21. I even did life gain or life link. I just didn't reach out. I don't know. <laughs> Messing with my opponent's life total. Oh, yeah, guy. Okay. I'm gonna. Ahead of myself just a little bit here. Zero. Okay. Next spell gets gets in. Oh, okay. Yeah? I'm just gonna go to four. Yes. Mana, mana, mana. Now 
Genesis. Genesis Mage. I don't remember you. You untap two and up to two creatures. Okay. Untap up to two cre target creatures and up to two target lands. Cool. Um, target creatures plus five plus five. What's the ult here? Look at the top ten cards of your library. You may put any number of creature or lands on the battlefield. I can see why you'd want that in an Omnith deck. <laughs> yeah. She's going to go seven. All right. Into the wilds. Oh no, not this thing. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, put it on the battlefield. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. Never mind. Go ahead. All right. Um, you'll lose four on my upkeep from, or on my draw step from two Ooh. draws. Uh, you know, it's it's like two chains, but a lot less well known. I'm gonna do all this. Uh, the lands for the upkeeps are already on them. So, one, two, just two. Um, I'm. We're gonna get a little more information. I'm gonna lose a life, and you'll lose two because I'll draw a card. Oh, that's no, no, no. That's not as broken as I thought it was. That that doesn't work the way I thought it might. Um, that doesn't work at all right now. Okay. It in that case we'll go white, blue, and then two others into... actually we don't even need to do two because Oath of Ajani is out. Just gonna do it this way. Uh, Narset Transcendent mm -hmm. uh, comes in with six and then doubles it to twelve. I'm gonna pop her for her ult automatically, put her to three. You no longer may cast non-creature spells. Okay. Um, so, let me get out. Another! We're, even though this would be colorless, we're going to pretend it's white. There we go. Um, another emblem. That's that's what emblems look like. Now, there you go. And then, we're going to uh, white. Um... Actually, let's see. Two, five, four. All right, so I'm looking at 11 so far. You're at 17, and the first spell gets countered, so... Let's see. I can deal an extra three, an extra two. Um, this game, not, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of at that point, uh, unfortunately. All right, um... Yeah, I, I just, unfortunately, I had enough time to set up. Um, that'll do it, I guess. Mm. Uh, just to make sure. Okay, one, two. Okay, they are yours. I think that's all of your cards. <laughs> Let me not steal your cards like I stole his Rakdos Signet. Stole. Then again, he stole my Sensei's Divining Top, so it works out. Um, I, I had it in hand. I didn't actually cast it. It was a Jace Telepath Unbound. Uh, for Jace Friends Prodigy, the VP. And I have a 98 card deck, so until next, until I get that sorted out, we'll, uh, we'll stop EDH for a little bit.